welcome Jane Seymour. you you are a vision in orange <laughs> congratulations thank you let me tell you what i'm congratulating jane about you just recently celebrated your 73rd birthday <laughs> now miss seymour you look stunning what what thank give you. me your secret sauce mama <laughs> um you know what I do things pretty naturally. Um, okay. I, I like to eat Mediterranean food, but okay. no massive diets, but you know, healthy kind of exercise. I think it's an attitude to life. I think it's just, yes. I feel young and I'm really, you know, busy doing things that I love and uh, running off to grandchildren and, you mm -hmm. know, I'm, I'm just having a life, I think. Yeah. I don't think about age. Do you think about age? I don't think about age, no. No. I mean, uh, sadly, the world looks at us and goes, oh, aren't you supposed to be under a rock when you're like mm -mm. 50 or something? But no, no, I'm, no. Really, I'm not going under any rocks. You know, because the way I look <laughs> at it is like, I go, you know what, what's next? Now yes. what, what are we doing? That, that's the way, I, and it is, it's like an attitude. It is, and, I, and I'm hoping that somehow I can empower the people out there to realize that, you know, maybe it's time for a new profession or, a, you know, new excitement in life. Absolutely, and that's what I love about you because you're always reinventing yourself, Jane. You now play Lindsay Lohan's mom in your new yes. movie, It's Irish Wish. Can you tell us about it? Well, um, so uh, Lindsay is an editor of um, a famous um, writer, and yeah. she's madly in love with him. And mm -hmm. actually, the truth is she wrote the book. Oh, okay. He can't write. Okay. All right. You know that. And, uh, but she is absolutely convinced he's going to propose to her, but he doesn't. And I'm her, her mother, and I keep saying, I'm always on the phone, saying, you know, tell him, he doesn't know. Right. And then, really sadly, she finds out she's now going to a wedding in which she's a bridesmaid. And oh. uh, she feels, like, really miffed about it and accidentally ends up sitting on a wishing stone where um, St. Bridget, who grants yes. wishes, um, basically hears her wish and says, do you really want that? And her wish was she wishes she was marrying him instead of her friend. Ooh. And then she wakes up and finds out that she is. That she so, is. I don't want to give the whole thing away. And everything away. that ensues from there. The everything hygiene. ensues from there. And I am the mother who keeps trying to help her out, give her advice and, and show up for a wedding. OK, and yeah. I love that in the movie, you and Lindsay Lohan, I couldn't even believe this, you were never in a scene together. No. Nope. You never were in a scene together. But you got to hang out at the premiere together. We did. And uh, well, you see, the reason I wasn't in a scene with her is yeah. I was on the phone. I never actually managed to oh, get to where phone. she was. So, uh -huh. um, But at the premiere, she was just so lovely because we really right. wanted to get together and get to know each other better. And when they did the sort of lineup of all the stars of the show, and I'm definitely not the star of the show, she said, I'm having Jane here. And she just That's pulled me right about. in to be right next That's to her. Look at her. That's it. Yeah. She is. She's really lovely. And her husband is lovely. And I saw the picture of the baby. Oh yeah, my God. Uh, yeah, she's Adorable. really doing well. Yeah, I love this. Great. Well, you know, speaking of Irish wish and sitting down and wishing something, you had your own Irish, the Irish wish romance when you <laughs> met your boyfriend. So what happened when you met your man, girl? <laughs> Look at this, uh-huh. Well, I was not looking. I had given up. Really? Yes, I had given up. I, I was going to be, I called myself an independent practitioner. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then uh, I went out with a girlfriend to um, like a little rock club thing in Malibu yeah. where I live. And this guy kind of walked past me, looked like he knew me, but obviously didn't. Uh -huh. And that, anyway, I didn't know anything. All I know is that um, he apparently saw me, called his son, um, his name's John Zambetti. His son's called Johnny Zambetti, oh, right. and he's in a great group called the Palms. And, mm -hmm. he, and he just said, you know, why is uh, Jane single? And he called his best friend, who's my son's best friend. It turns out they've all been living either at my house or his house. Right, so the his kids kid, knew each other. Um, my kid literally grew up in one in our houses, but I but never you had met never him. met him. Never. He lives five minutes away. Really? Well, he was very happily married okay. for forty three years. All right. And I was married too, and so we never met. But our our kids knew each other very well, and so they they set us up. So this this um, 
a rapper friend, you know, the kid called uh, Shwayze, okay. who I've known since he was a little boy. Say that three times, he put girl. Shwayze. <laughs> you can look him up. He's, they're all musicians, by the yeah. way. So uh, Shwayze was was in the, doing a, a gig the, the next week, and he said, oh, she'll be there. Anyway, I... Um, Tracy says, there's a guy you need to meet, and I come, I don't know what's going And the guy says, uh, I think we're supposed to meet. And, and I went, yes, we are. And that was it. Wow, and you have been together. You, yes. It, uh, this... we, hasn't, we haven't actually left. I mean, it's been three days we've not been together now. But really? We've pretty much been together ever since, and then he met my family, and they pretty much adopted him. My kids already knew him, so, you So know. do you feel like, once you just, like, let go, it just things just happen? I feel this is um, some sort of whether an Irish wish or um, yeah. being open to divine yes, intervention. Yes, being open to it. And, you know, he ticks two boxes, because like my father, he was a doctor, he yep. a doctor, and uh, he's a rock musician. Girl, you got a doctor? Uh, you better go on here with your bad self. Yes. The Malibus. I love them. The this. Malibus, if you want to look him up. So, uh, the Malibus, <laughs> I ain't going to look him up. Yeah. And this is one thing, I keep, you know, I'm getting distracted because I'm looking at you, and I know that you're a designer, and I'm looking yes. at your scarf. Uh -oh. Th this scarf yeah. is so gorgeous. Now, you didn't happen to design the scarf. Of course I did, yes. Oh, you did? Yes. Jane. Well, I'm, a, I'm a painter, oh. and I, I love painting. I'm, this is from a watercolor, and I thought it's such a waste just having it, you know, on a, on a wall. Yeah. And, uh, um, so, yeah, so I made this. I call it Leaves of Colour. And actually, the fun mm. part about it is I was painting whilst talking to my teenage son. Uh -huh. And, and I, it kind of relaxed me. It relaxed him. We got over some really, you know, deep stuff that we needed to do. And at the end of it, I went, oh, that'll make a great scarf. So I have one for you. Oh, you, oh, you I do? do? I was going to... You, girl! Okay, you have the even bigger, better one. I was going to take the scarf okay. off your neck. I was well, just going to... That's what I was going to do. You, you, you have a... Actually, Ooh, Reba McIntyre did take a scarf off my neck. Reba McIntyre took it? Yes, yeah, because I would have so, took that one. This, this is, is gorgeous. I think that might be for you, don't you? You created this? Yes, yes. This is absolutely I know, I, they, gorgeous. You can find them online. That's what I was going to... You can find this online. JS Designs, yeah. Oh, I love it. JS Designs. That's, that's cashmere and Mabel. Oh, this is cashmere, girl. You better stop. What? Oh, my God. It looks really good on you. It looks so good. I love this. Jane, I'm so glad you stopped by to say hi. Look at this. And I got a gift out of it, too. You know what? Irish Wish streams on Netflix starting March 15th. We're gonna have a good time.